morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It's Tuesday and it's flipping freezing. I mean, I think the weather's going to be okay, but look, my Raynard just kicked it. Not, not you can see it very well, but it's starting to go purple and dead fingers. <laughs> it does feel very, very cold. We also have this really annoying situation. It's been going on for a long time and usually bleach down the drain fixes it. But the bathroom gets this real horrible garlicky smell and it seems to be coming from right under the bath. I don't know why it is, but what I normally do is pour loads of bleach down the toilet, the sink and the bath, like down all the plug holes and what have you, and then it's gone. But this went last night and then it's back again this morning, but it makes the whole place smell funky. Um, so I've lit candles and we're keeping the bathroom door shut um, and the bathroom window open and... I'm going to try and get maybe, I mean, nothing seems to be blocked. This is the thing. I just don't understand why. <sighs> oh, I don't know. I want a new bathroom and I'm sure if we ripped out the bathroom, we'd find the problem and solve it. But that's quite an expense for finding the source of the stink. Um, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Well, I might have to take the bath panel off at some point and explore under there. We did shove a pillow down this one bit that goes to where all the pipes are because of the smell. Maybe I need to change it. That did help. It blocked. I don't know. I don't know why, why I'm telling you this. You don't need to know this, do you? Anywho, um, I'm going to have my bowl of cereal. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. Um, and then today I have Ozzy who's coming, but he's not coming till a bit later. He's got a doctor's appointment. It's about 10 o'clock. I've got Harrison, Llewellyn, Christopher and Orion today. Um, and I think we're going to stay at home. Ginny's going to come over with the girls and we're going to do some Jubilee related things. Um, that should be a giggle. Right. Get this eaten before they come. See you in a minute. Coming through, is it? Is it coming through? Coming through. Oh, going for a tunnel. Beep, beep. So, Ellen, you're probably better off putting that up on the side where I had it, sweetie, because otherwise people are going to be tripping over you there. So, you carry it up and put it up on the side. Hot tea, yeah, you're gonna make some hot tea. We'll have a tea party for the Queen's Jubilee. Oh, lovely Harrison. Could I drink it, please? Yeah. Thanks. Queen. Oh, lovely. I could I could be the Queen, couldn't I? Right, hold on then. Oh uh, hello, my royal subjects. <laughs> I would very much like to try one of your cucumber sandwiches. And I would very much like to have a tea. Mmm, smells like tea. 
Jag ser att man får en spun. Well, Orion, yeah. hot tea. Hot tea. Ryan, hot tea. Yeah, hot tea, Orion. Oh, he's making a sandwich. Look, he's got the cucumbers, cheese, tasty sandwich, bread. Can you give him back his tea bag, please? Thank you. Lovely. Jubilee tea party. Got spoons. Oh, that's a lovely dinner, Orion. Well done. Cheese in your sandwich. Cheese. What else are you having in there? What else are you going to put in your sandwich, Orion? He's pushing me away. That's because he's trying to make a sandwich and you've just pushed in next to him, sweetie. So give him some space. Don't take his sandwich away. We're only pretending. Otherwise, everything will be squishy and soggy and not very nice. Would you like some bacon on your sandwich? Bacon? No? More cheese? Oh, lovely sandwich, Orion. Well done. Tasty. Oh, yum, yum. Could I have a bite, please? Could I taste it, Orion? Mm, 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 mm. Who's the baby, then? You like the baby, don't you? Oh, that. It's the baby. In her pram. That was one of the royal babies, that was, from the set when I bought it. The baby had just been born. I think it was George. That's a lady. She's got a teapot, look. I think she's a geisha girl. She's obviously come to visit the Queen. Here we are. Look, there's Charles, Prince Charles. And that's Prince Philip. That was the Queen's husband, but unfortunately he's not here anymore. He died. What's that? Um, that might be Harry. Although it's Harry doesn't Harry. wear his uniform anymore. Harry no, this one, Harry. This is the Queen's grandson. Well, and look, Harry and William. And he's going to be, well, so we've got the Queen and her husband. Okay, he's died. He died last year, I think it was. And then he's next to be king. And then he's the oldest son, so he's next to be king. What's Christopher doing? Are you doing them all in the right order, are you, Christopher? Oh, Christopher's using those, sweetie. He's doing some counting. What number are you on? Eleven. Eleven. So you're looking for... Twelve. Twelve. Well spotted. Oh, and 12 ducks. You're matching them. Clever boy. And I got 11 apples. Well done. One drawing. Drawing, yeah. One drawing. It says 15 crayons on that one. There's quite a lot of crayons, isn't there? We're on the big numbers. Leia's chilling out. 13 fish. Well done, Christopher. She's She's having a rest, isn't she? She's had a breakfast. Now she's having another rest. I'm going to have another cup of tea. Hello. Hello. Would you like a cuppa? Sorry, you're having to fight your way through my pile of stuff that I emptied out of my bag yesterday. Turn this light on. Because after my trip, I noticed that my raspberries... And my coleslaw had leaked into my sandwich. Okay. Not into my sandwich, into my bag. Okay. Yes, my lovely. Uh, 
Um, you do need to sit down with your snack, don't you? Pippa's just going to make a cup of tea. Okay, and then I'll come and sit with you. Sit down then with your snack. Oh, well, Pippa have to put it back in the bag then. Do you want it? Okay, let's put it back in the bag. Okay, good boy. Sit down then. Well done. Thank you. Good boy. Wow, lots of green grass, Orion. What are you going to colour in? You can't colour in with that many colours, sweetie. What colour are your monkeys going to be? <laughs> what colour are your monkeys going to be? <laughs> Careful, don't tip the chair back. Do you want them to be blue? Or brown? Or yellow? What colour monkeys? <laughs> that one is like a pinky purple. Mine. What's Orion doing now? Oh, he's doing some black on his picture. Lovely, Orion. What does your lion say, Orion? <laughs> what does the lion say? A big, lion, he... big roar. It does a big roar, does he? Was that you doing your big roar? Show me your big roar. Big roar. T-Rex do do big roars, you're right. Orion, does he go? Rawr. That's it, good boy. Rawr. The monkey says, Can you be a monkey? And I'm not sure what a giraffe says. Giraffes are quite quiet. Is that your giraffe impression? <laughs> Gentle. Are you giving the queen a cake? Well, there we go. Here we are. Look, should we make her a sandwich? Would you like a tuna sandwich, Your Majesty? Here you go. Oh, Harrison, you can't eat the queen's cake, uh, the queen's sandwich. Here are Your Majesty. Have a sandwich. Oh my goodness! I think we need to work on the queen's manners. Did the queen say thank you? Oh, you're feeding the queen a biscuit. Harrison, could you make the queen a cup of tea, please? <laughs> Are we going to feed it to her? Oh. Do you want to pour her some tea, please? Well done. Boy. Excellent job. There you go, Your Majesty. Have that. <laughs> <laughs> what What have you made there, boys? That's a machine. It's a, it's it's where, it, that's where you get the tea and that's where you get it. Is it, is it a tea's made? Yeah, and that's oh. coffee, that's tea. Oh, this is like a barista thing where you can make tea and coffee. Lovely. We've had several huge downpours. And I'm sure we've got more to come. Just look at that sky. Just ordered a whole bunch of eco-friendly dishwasher tablets. I don't know if you meant to unwrap them before you put them in. Does it say you unwrap them? No need for salt. Do not unwrap the tablet. Okay. So I'm going to put these in. I don't know how good they are, but they were just an eco-friendly brand called Home Things. Vegan, cruelty-free and just really very good. So we'll give them a go and see what they're like. Doing a relatively easy meal for Kenzie tonight. He's having some sausage and baked bean bakes. And Lee and I are having this. We really like this. It's the Lebanese style lamb and bulgur wheat uh, with roasted carrots and dill. So I shall cook that in about half an hour. Lee should be home any minute. So I'm just making a cup of tea for all of us. And then I need to get the kids to start tidying up a little bit, ready for home time. Those pastries came out quite nice. We'll see what Kenzie thinks of them. And a plate of fruit. What do you think of them? Good up further. The bacon on there. What was it? Bacon and cheese, the other one? Yeah. Okay. But they're okay. Sausage and bean. Cool. Well, maybe we can go shopping and get some more bits at the weekend. Yeah. That is our lovely finished dinner. Oh, I've got a bit of burnt something on my dill sauce. Oh, and I've dropped it on my carrot. I don't want it on my carrot. We've had this one before and we very much like it, don't we, dear? Mm hmm Something about Lebanese food. I like the spices, that's what it is. Good evening. It's half six-ish. We've finished dinner, we've done the dishes, 
We're a bit of a teamwork. We cook together, we clean it up together. Um, Kenzie's eaten his food. He didn't manage the second pie. He's not feeling 100%. He has actually taken a COVID test this afternoon because he's got a sore throat and he started coughing and he's feeling a bit rough. Thankfully, it's coming back negative. So um, I don't think he needs to have COVID a third time, but we, you know, we know that it's in the village again. So, and it's going around his school, but if he's going to get ill this weekend or this week is the best week to get poorly because he's got exams again next week and onwards. So he did say, well, it's quite convenient to be ill this week. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. We have got a few things to watch. Lee's very good at finding things. I would never know these things were out there unless I had a Lee to sort them all out for me. Um, I'm not like big on looking for things on TV to watch, but he's found another Roman documentary. We've been watching a few like on Pompeii and things recently. And he's found one about an underwater Roman find um, and then exhumed, which is solving cold cases um, by exhuming the bodies years later um, to find out who did, did the, dir the dirty deed and um, and then we've got Blacklist which is Darren Peter's fault. Blacklist 9 has now finished on normal TV so we've got hold of the whole series and we're now going to watch it in bulk. It's been a good day we've had a, a good time the weather's been pretty on and off dire so we've been stuck at home because when it's rained it has been like drowning rain rivers running down the road huge drops of water and just proper heavy storm type rain tomorrow's meant to be thunderstorms and lightning so i don't think tomorrow's going to be much better um but we have had fun we've done tea parties for the queen um and they've had the duplo out and miss potato heads and we've played in the garden at every opportunity we can the one thing I have found is that whilst Leia is a really chilled, lovely dog, um, it, <laughs> she's not easy when I'm childminding. <laughs> she's great with the kids. Uh, she loves playing with them and she likes being near them and she'll just sit on the sofa and watch us. She likes to be with us. But my goodness, she has eaten so many things today. She's trashed the kids' rugby ball. I've had to remove several things. In fact, we haven't got many balls left in the garden. I had to keep telling the children to make sure they picked it up. She's chewed up. She got onto my potpourri up here and I found her this evening. She's climbed onto the sofa and helped herself to some potpourri and was chewing that. Um, she chewed up Kenzie's microphone cover, which he said he must have knocked off his microphone and it must have been on the floor because he can't see how else she could have got it off the microphone without trashing the microphone. Um, and he was in the bedroom at the time, so it, he must have just knocked it off and not realised and she's found it and ripped it into a billion pieces. So I've just had to order him a new microphone cover for his microphone. Um, so she's in the bad books today. She's in the bad books. Um, so what I've done, and also she's jumping up at parents when I bring her, like if someone comes to the door, she's jumping up and I'm telling, I'm sending her away, but she's coming straight back. Now, when I had my dog, we had it set up so that we had a big dog gate across the door in the kitchen. And so as soon as the doorbell went or somebody knocked, he would go straight in and I could shut the gate and then we could deal with people at the door. And that worked really, really well. But obviously I'm not set up in that way for a dog anymore. I did try to use the fabric stair gates that we've got, the retractable ones that you bring across, but she can just push under them because she's little. And they do have like a gap like this underneath them. They don't go all the way to the floor. So she just pushed straight underneath because they've got a bit of flex in them. Um, so I've borrowed from Ozzy's mum a dog crate. And then tomorrow, when she's being a pain, and I just need her to be away from the children because they're playing with something that I don't want her to eat, um, then she can go in that. So she won't be in it for long, in like an hour at a time. But it does mean that if she's being persistent at trying to get the toys, then I can remove her. Um, because I did send her upstairs with Kenzie and she kept scratching on the door to come out. She wanted to be down here with the rest of us, even though I thought Kenzie might be enough of an interest for her. Um, the other thing I've just done this evening is the ball I bought her last time she was here, the round ball. Obviously, balls are round, aren't they? What a ridiculous thing to say. The round ball. The round yellow ball 
Are you sliding? I feel like I'm ducking under a bit more. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> the yellow ball that I bought her that has a hole in it. Um, I put some treats in it. And there's also a rope knot in there that moves around because I cut the string off and the knot fell inside and it's too big to come out. So um, that blocks the hole occasionally as it rolls. So I've given her that with the view that she might spend some time um, being entertained by it, trying to get some treats out, is what I'm thinking. I mean, she's been out for walks and stuff. Kenzie took her for a run. He went running with her around. He does this loop in the village um, across the field and uh, he gets bored he doesn't like to go for walks so he tends to run it so she was taken on a run today <laughs> um between the rainstorms so yeah i think she just wants to be involved in what everyone else is doing anywho anywho other than that it's going really well she's a pleasure to have she's a, a lot of fun and uh yeah the kids and i and lee and kenzie are very much enjoying her kenzie was cross with her for about an hour today and then the next thing you know he's downstairs and he's running around up and down the hallway with a, and a ball and I was like oh she's forgiven now is she <laughs> so I think he just oh, look what she's done and then he was like oh, okay recover and it was all right then I think he didn't hold a grudge anywho I shall see you lovely lot tomorrow uh, for whatever tomorrow brings and I'm gonna go take my cup of tea upstairs and make myself a very nice bubbly bath. Thanks for watching.